Hello, welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX Security Zones concept and configuration, which gives the capability to assign networks with different security requirements into different security zones or domains to control traffic between these networks. Additionally, we can control traffic between any network and Juniper device itself, which is located in Juno's host zone by default. The first step of configuring security policy is to configure security zones and assign interfaces to the zones. All interfaces with common security requirements are configured in the same security zones. In other words, to control traffic between two security domains, they must be in different security zones. All traffic between network in the same security zones are allowed. In our topology, LAN 1 and LAN 2 networks have the same security requirement and therefore they are in the same security zone, trust zone, interface connected to the internet and WAN also have the same security requirements. Therefore, the both interfaces are assigned to the same security zone and trust and the interface connected to the data center is also is assigned to a separate security zone dmz zone so we can control traffic between these three zones there are four types of zones in juniper srx devices functional zone or management zone security zones jonas house and null zone by default all interfaces are in the null zone all traffic received on interfaces in the null zone are discarded. In other words, to start forwarding traffic through an interface, it must be assigned to a security zone. You can assign an interface to functional management zone. This interface can be used only for the purpose of management like Telnet, SSH and web interface manage the device traffic cannot be routed and forwarded through the management interface and the destination of the management traffic can only be the juniper device itself the use of management zone can be useful in a small srx devices which don't have a dedicated out of band management interface therefore you can dedicate an interface just for the purpose of management with assigning it to the management zone. Jonas host zone is to control traffic between any zone and Juniper device itself. By default, all traffic from any zone to the Juniper device itself are discarded and all traffic from the Juniper device itself to all zones are permitted by default. Security zone is the main type of the zone with security purposes, all interfaces with the same security requirements are assigned to the same security zones and therefore interfaces with different security requirements are assigned to different security zones. You are allowed to control traffic only between different security zones. This is the topology based on which we will configure security zones in this section. Juniper SRX is connected to the internet through interface Giga Ethernet 0 with the IP address 192.168.1.250.24. Interface Giga Ethernet 0 will be assigned to the security zone outside zone. Interface Giga Ethernet 1 is connected to the LAN network with the IP address 192.168.10.250 and interface Giga Ethernet 1 is assigned to the security zone inside zone. Interface FXP0 is the management interface in Juniper SRX on which we will connect to the device to configure the Juniper SRX device. The IP address of the management interface is 192.168.200.101 100, 
Before starting the configuration, I've removed all the configuration from Juniper SX device with the command request system zeroize command. Then I've added this configuration to initiate the Juniper device for remote connection and prepare it for security zone configuration. A password is configured for root user. A new username, Raika, with a root privilege is created. SSH telnet and web remote access is activated. And finally, the IP address of management interface is configured. 192, 168, 200, 101, as we have displayed in the topology. With command set security zones in configuration mode, you can see that there are two type of zones that can be configured, functional zone and security zone. With functional zone, there is only one option and that is management. It means you can assign and dedicate an interface to the management interface. Management interface is just to connect to the device for the management purposes. Management zone is useful mostly for small SOX devices that don't have dedicated out of band management interface. Here in virtual SOX, FXP0. Run. Show interface test. FXP zero interface is dedicated to the management only purpose. But just to show how one interface is added to the management interface, I will use the command set security zone and functional zone and then management and then interface giga tenet zero zero two. And now interface giga tenet zero zero two is dedicated to the management purposes and you cannot forward traffic through this interface. But with command rollback zero, I will delete the management interface configuration since we don't need it in our topology. With command set security zone and security zone, you can see that there are by default two security zones, trust and untrust, but I will not use them here and I'll create my own security zones outside and inside as in the topology. So outside and inside. Show, compare, and then commit. After creating security zones, I have to assign interfaces to the security zones. First, I will configure the IP address of Giga Ethernet 0 and Giga Ethernet 1 as in the topology. Then I will add these two interfaces to the security zones outside and inside. With command set interfaces Giga Ethernet 0, 0, 0. Unit 0, family inet, address 192.168.1.250.24 and 10 for gigatenet 1 and then commit. And then I will assign the interfaces gigatenet 0 and 1 to the security zone with command set security zone security zone outside interface giga ethernet 0 0 0 and giga ethernet 0 0 1 for the zone inside and then show compare and then commit to check the status of security zone with command show security zone tears in the operational mode you can list all configured security zones inside outside trust untrust and also Jonas host which is configured by default 
without tears with command show security zone you can check which interfaces are assigned to which security zones inside giga ethernet 1 and outside giga ethernet 0 is assigned to these security zones as i've explained previously by default all traffic from any security zones to the juniper itself are discarded but all traffic from the juniper device itself to any security zones are permitted by default with command we can check it with command run ping 192.168.1 once expected that we receive ping reply and also we can ping the juniper device itself and we expect that the ping connection is not established with command set security zone security zone for example outside the parameter host inbound traffic is to configure which traffic are permitted to the Juniper device itself. This parameter can be configured in the security zone, for example, security zone outside level or a specific interface in a security zone. For example, interface Giga Ethernet 001 and then the host inbound traffic. As we can guess, what is configured in the security zone interface level is preferred to what is configured in the security zone itself. For example, in the security level, host inbound traffic, there are two parameters in host inbound traffic, protocols and system services. With protocols, with protocol option, we can permit protocol traffic like OSPF, IGMP, BGP or PIM protocol to the Juniper device itself. But with system services option, you can allow services like, for example, PING, SSH, Telnet and SNMP and many other services as you can see in the list. As an example, I will add all protocols and all system services, system services all in the security zone level and then commit. And now we expect that the ping is established but in the security zone interface level, I will add only OSPF protocol in the protocol level and I will exempt Telnet service from all system services with extra parameter. With command set security zone, security zone, outside and then interface Giga Ethernet 0 in the protocol host inbound traffic for the protocol only we permit OSPF but for the system services I will add all protocol except Telnet with the except parameter and then show compare and then commit. Now again we expect that the ping can be established but we are not allowed to tell it to the device and the telnet is discarded by host inbound traffic however it's not the discussion of this session but just to show you the application of Jonas host zone I want to reject ICMP traffic to the Juniper device itself but not with host inbound traffic I will configure it with writing a security policy from zone outside to the Jonas host zone.
which is Juniper device itself. I will configure the command set security policy from zone outside to the zone Jonas host and the policy for example deny ICMP match with the match we can match the traffic and with the then we can do the action match source address any destination address again any an application Jonas ICMP all and with the then we can give the action reject for other traffic permit all then permit and then show compare for the traffic source any destination any ICMP traffic but to the zone Jonas host from outside to the to the zone Jonas host the ICMP traffic is reject and all traffic are permitted by default and then a missing mandatory statement for the policy permit all match source address any destination address any and application also any and then again show compare and then commit now we expect that we cannot ping the Juniper device from outside anymore let's check it together ping 192, 168, 250 as you can see destination port unreachable message we receive 